Hi and welcome to Jack's Tech World. Uh, today I am doing a video on how to dual boot Ubuntu and also Windows 10. First things first, the big major thing is if you have a computer that came with Windows 8, 8.1 or 10, most likely secure boot is on. And that's the big thing that you have to do is you have to get into your BIOS and disable secure boot. On HP's most of the time that is the F9 key, Dell's F2, Asus BIOS uh, F8. Um, you can do a quick Google search for your uh, computer and you will most likely find that how to get into the BIOS. But that is the major key for dual booting with Windows 10 on newer computers. Now what I'm doing here is I'm using a virtual machine to demonstrate installing Ubuntu next to Windows 10. Now like in this virtual machine here, uh, one thing you're going to want to do is when your computer boots is you want to know what the boot option is. Like on HP's you can hit F10 it'll bring up a boot menu like this. On Dell's it's F12. Those are the most common ones that I know. You're going to want to select, uh, depending on how you've made your uh, USB installer on CD or USB. Like right now, I have this set up for CD. So I'm going to press C. Just select the boot device that you've created. And Ubuntu will just start loading. And the nice thing about Ubuntu is you can try it as a live CD or install. We're going to select install though. Uh, I like to download the updates during the install. Install third party software for your graphics card and wireless. That's always a good thing to do. And we want to install alongside Windows 10. So the nice thing is that it will shrink the partitions for you. And I'm just going to leave it like that. You can always switch these if you want to go into advanced options and make one smaller or bigger. Which I'll show you here. You can shrink these down. Just plus or minus here. Make it bigger, smaller, however you want. For right now, I'm just going to leave it default. Continue. And yes, we want to make these changes. Oh, you can actually slide it right here. All right. Select Chicago because that's where I am. Select wherever you are. We'll select English. Put in a username. I'm just going to put JAG. Choose a password. I'm just going to put password. Very weak. And it will start. Install. Okay, now we want to restart. Now you have the options of loading Windows 10 or Ubuntu. Now let's restart and go into Windows 10. Make sure it boots and it boots up fine. There you go. Um, that is how you install Ubuntu. There's really nothing to it. The uh, people that create Ubuntu have done a great job over the years. And thank you for watching. If you have any more requests of w what you want to learn, uh, shoot me a message, leave a comment, give the video a like if you liked it. If you don't, uh, dislike it. Thank you.